A Walk Through the Thicket. A Children's Story by Albert Hardy. Goldenrod, Dockweed, Gypsum, Daisies, Buttercups, Sunflowers, Wheat, Dandelion, Burdock, Timothy, Pampas Grass and Foxtail grew higher than me. Sometimes I thought the thicket would swallow me up. I'll never forget the sounds of the Grasshopper Symphony. Katydids, honeybees, wasps, bumblebees, cicadas, crickets and even click beetles all chimed in, louder than I wanted them to. My favorites, the butterflies, seem to be having a field day festival. There must have been hundreds of them all over the fields. The wind mixed the orchestra around a bit as I and my friends greeted each other every day with our best smiles. Some of them seemed to love the wind. They would climb over my head to the tip-top of their favorite plant, then jump and soar in flight to the next destination. Each day I wanted to return to try my hand at making new friends, but I loved each one of the old ones. I never thought of hurting them. Praying mantises were growing fat, eating their fill of grasshoppers like ears of corn. I tried to stop the females from eating their husbands, but grandma told me, everyone has to eat. Leave them alone. God has programmed them that way. I trained my eyes to find them, even though they were good at hiding, maybe they were hoping I wouldn't spot them. They were masters of camouflage and so very hard to spot among the goldenrod plants. I caught them in my mom's best canning jars, hoping to fill my aquarium with them. I only wanted to take my friends home to live with me. But soon, I began to see my friends change. Mom said, sweetheart, these are wild animals God intended to roam free. That is the only place they want to be. I loved my freedom, I knew what I had to do. Soon we set them all free and they sped away, free again at last. God must have smiled.